Hey guys, I'm back. It's Amy with Anxiously Crafting Hauls and more. Um, so I'm back with this Dollar Tree haul. And um, I actually picked this Dollar Tree haul up last week. And uh, I actually try tried to film this video uh, a few days ago. And it just it didn't work out. So here we are today. So I guess I will just start right here. Um, we got the Modern Pantry Whole Milk. Um, the kids used one of these over the weekend. My um, oldest son, who is uh, 19, loves milk. And um, he said it's decent. He said it's real watery tasting, though. Um, but he said it's it's okay. Uh, so, I mean, I guess, you know, shelf-stable milk for $1.25. I mean, I don't, I don't guess you can beat it. Uh, let's see. And then I got one of the Zero Sugar teriyaki and one of the mild barbecue sauce from kinders um we have not tried anything from kinders so i'm excited to try these i love teriyaki chicken so i'm thinking of making um you know teriyaki chicken with some pineapple over rice um y'all let me know uh, do y'all like this do you like the barbecue sauce um, so I did pick up, I went ahead and picked up two of the barbecue sauce because we, we do use barbecue sauce a lot in this house, especially over the summer. And I never could find, if you hear that noise, that's my, that's my chihuahua trying to get in underneath the door. So, and you'll probably see her in, uh, some of the videos too. I never could find a, a date on these though. Um, is it under the label? But, uh, anyways, we do use a lot of barbecue sauce, especially over the summer. Um, I'll, uh, I'll try to find a, a date on this sometime. And I can let you know, or y'all can let me know where to find the date at. So, um, that is not all of the food. We did get some chips, but the kids got into those over the weekend. The Super Stackers and, um... They're comparable to Pringles. Uh, the original are really good. Um, I don't like cheddar cheese ones, but the kids love the cheddar cheese ones. And um, the salt and vinegars, vinegar ones are amazing. So, uh, yeah, y'all try that too. And then um, we, I got just this little notepad. Be the person your dog thinks you are. I actually have four dogs. I have three pit bulls and uh, one chihuahua. And the chihuahua runs the household. She's a princess. So, um, and you'll probably see her in some of the videos. And you'll probably hear her in a lot of the videos because she is very loud. But, um, but yeah, I got this for to, to put on the refrigerator. I'm just going to glue a magnet on the back. And I'm going to stick it on my refrigerator to um, make notes. I think I might do that. I, I don't know. I I may use it for my grocery lists. I'm not, I don't know. I'm not 100% sure yet, honestly. So, sorry if I've got the sniffles. Um, speaking of sniffles, let me get my ear out of the camera. Cold and flu, we get, I always get this at the uh, Dollar Tree. Um, 10 soft gels for $1.25. You can't beat it because cold medicine in the store is ridiculous, ridiculously outrageous. So, uh, let's see. Let me go ahead and do this. Um, so the magnets, I got the magnets. Um, these are the only magnets that I could find there. Uh, so, but I mean, these will work. No big deal. And then I got these because I want to glue magnets on it. And uh, make a set for my refrigerator. Um, they had the gather one. And then they had the one that looked like it was on burlap with the little mason jar. Those weren't my favorite. Um, but I really like the red truck. Um, my whole kitchen is a farmhouse theme. So, yep. And then I found this. <clears throat> good food is good mood. And if there's anything that this family knows about, it's some good food putting you in a good mood okay so um what i'm gonna do is glue some magnets on this too and actually sit it on the top of the stove so it doesn't fall off and i haven't decided if i'm gonna unscrew it and put the magnets on it or if i'm gonna leave it on the wood yet 
I was thinking about that earlier, and I, I just haven't decided what I'm going to do with that yet. So, how I'm going to do that. And then I found this. The scent is not my favorite. They didn't have any of the um, cookie, the cookie one. Um, but they did have the pumpkin spice, and I didn't even bother smelling the pumpkin spice, honestly. Because I'm not going to use the soap. I actually have a gnome soap dispenser that I got on clearance a couple years ago. I'm going to put this soap in that. I'm going to give it to my unbiological sister because she loves gnomes. But um, anyways, I'm going to put the soap in there. And I'm going to take the stickers off of this. And I'm going to fill this up with hand sanitizer. Because in my guest bathroom, our sink needs to be repaired. So we have the water turned off to it. So, we always have a bottle of hand sanitizer sitting in there. But, this is so much cuter. So, I want to fill this up with hand sanitizer and use it. So, there's that. And then I found, I have been looking for these. Oh, my gosh. The chickens. Love them. So, I had to grab them. Not much to be said about the chickens. They're great. My whole kitchen, like I said, is farmhouse theme. Um, with the cow, they had the pig and the duck. The duck doesn't go with anything in my kitchen. And the pig, I don't, I, I love the farmhouse aesthetic, but I don't like anything that says farm life because I don't live on a farm. I just like the aesthetic. So I tend not to buy anything that says farm life, but I buy the pigs and the cows and the chickens so I can have the aesthetic. I hope that makes sense. Okay, moving right along. I got these Q-tips. I love these. These are great. I love the little ridges. Let's see if you can see. I don't know if you can see them. There we go. I love the little ridges on them. They're awesome. Nice, strong stick. I really like these. So... Dollar twenty-five for hundred and fifty. Ain't too bad. Now I found these. The pink pineapple and grapefruit. Not my favorite scent. They're okay. I love pineapple stuff, scented stuff. I really do. But I mean these are just okay. But then I found the yes to coconut ones. And these are amazing. I absolutely have to get more of these. These smell great. And then I found the Freeman Beauty Infusion Fusion Brightening Overnight Mask. Hibiscus and vitamin C instantly boosts luminosity, corrects discoloration, and improves skin tone. Dermatologist tested in its serum infused facial mask. So I found these. And I know Freeman usually does the big pill-off masks and stuff like that. But I thought that these were really neat and interesting. Because um, I haven't seen anything like this before. Um, so I got two of these to try. And uh, see how they work. And we will see. And then I got uh, Pond's Color Perfect Color Complex Beauty Cream love this stuff I can always tell if I stop using this I can always tell my complexion and just the junk this stuff is great I love this stuff <clears throat> then I found the air spun highlighter it is really pretty actually don't know if you can see that or not it is, it's really pretty. So, and they had two different colors. They had more of a pinky color and then more of a gold color. And this is what? Glow for gold, 300. And this was my, this was my favorite color. So I picked that one up. And then I also picked up the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Skin Milk with coconut milk and aloe extract nourishing foundation 
I love this stuff. It's what I'm wearing today. I don't know if you can really tell or whatever, but it's what I'm wearing now. And I, I really like this. It's, it's good coverage. It's buildable. And, um, it's, it's real, you know, soft. And I mean, I don't really know what I can say about foundation except for I like it. I mean, I don't have the greatest skin in the world, so please excuse that. But I really like this. I'm actually going to pick up more of this when I find it. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. Goodness. It's that season, y'all. Sniffles and colds and allergies. You just, you can't avoid it. It's terrible. Um, then... The Brillo Basics dish spray. I picked some of this up a couple weeks ago. I like it. It smells good. Um, it's comparable to the palm olive, but if you don't like the smell of the palm olive, give this stuff a try. It's I like it. So that's all about. That's about all I can say about that. It's pretty good, and it smells really good too. Oh, and then I picked up two of these. They smell am they smell amazing, y'all. Like amazing. I did pick up some a few weeks ago that were really, really powdery. Like it was like nothing but powder. Which was really odd. But that's all they had. And I picked them up anyways. They still smelt great and they still worked. So I grabbed them. But this one has all the different colors. Some of them are wonky. And I, if I keep dropping them in the floor, I'm not going to have any. But, uh, but, yeah, these are great. Like, if you want your laundry to smell good and you like uh, in-wash boosters, grab these. For $1.25, let me just pick up this bag. And the other one I picked up. This one's way more full has a slightly different scent, but same colors, really. It smell amazing. I can't. I just, I just can't. Um, the Mentos air freshener. Picked up a green apple a few weeks ago. I love the smell of these. But they don't last, in my opinion. So, I don't know if I'm going to be buying these anymore. Honestly. Oh, craft Caesar dressing. Just for a um, a chicken Caesar, a grilled chicken Caesar salad, and uh, the Best Buy is 23rd September 2022. So we got a ways. And then I picked up the Arm and Hammer foaming garbage disposal cleaner. Now I don't have a garbage disposal, but I am going to use this for my drains. Yes, I am. Um. All it is is baking soda, citric acid, and fragrance. And you just, I'm going to sprinkle a little bit in there, run some hot water, and let it do its thing. I don't see why you couldn't do it in your drain. I mean, so we're going to try that. And I'll let you know how that works out. So, yes, 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 yes. And then I found um, these vanity bulbs, actually. Let's be four of them. Yeah, there's another one. Four of them. So, they're 40 watt soft white. I don't have a vanity, but I do have the bathroom with the light fixtures that are like really close together like this. Like right above the mirror. Um, so, and, and the base is the same size. And these were at my Dollar Tree. The sign said two for a dollar, but when I got up to the register, they were four for a dollar. So check your check your Dollar Trees. Um, and I don't do my makeup in that bathroom or anything. We literally just shower in there and brush our teeth. Um, I do it in this room. This is my craft room and like my makeup room and stuff. So um, I do everything else in here. So, I don't need anything very, very bright in there anyways. And so, uh, my husband doesn't wear makeup. 
So he literally doesn't need to see. He could just shower in the dark if he had to. But anyways, I um, I got this for those those fixtures, and um, they're just little round fixtures, and they only take one light bulb. So we're gonna see how those work out. And for for a dollar, can't beat it. Okay, um, let's see. Okay, let's get into what I got my kids. Well, and my husband too for Valentine's Day. Uh, I got everybody a pack of the berry clouds. We have not tried these, but we are going to. Then I got uh, some blow pop inside out. Crushed lollipop on the inside, bubble gum on the outside for everybody. Excited to try that. Um, I got my 19 year old son four packets of pumpkin seeds because I cut grass last year and I cut down his pumpkin vine and he was devastated. So I got him some more seeds. Uh, I got him. Make sure there's nothing else in here. Okay, I got him a composition book because he wants to start journaling. So here's this. Um, not. I don't think he's gonna junk journal or anything like that. I think it's just just straight up regular journaling. So just a basic composition notebook. Then I got my 15 year old son. He's just getting into art. He's taking art class this year. So I got him the sketchbook and I like the clear pocket on the front. And then I got him these eye draw books. These are really cool. Um, have you guys seen these? This is a, I don't, honestly though, I don't look at the books very often at Dollar Tree. But this is the first time I've seen these. These are really cool. So, this is the fantasy one. So, it teaches you right here, step by step. And then over here, you do your drawing of it. So, that's really cool. So, I got him the fantasy one, and then I got him the prehistoric one. They had a couple other ones. But, those are the two that I picked out for him. So, then I got them each a nobleman product. I got the 15-year-old pill-off mask because the child loves pill-off masks. So, instead of him wearing all these, you know, girly pill-off masks, I got him a manly one. Which, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that if that's what you do, obviously. But, he wants to be manly, so I got him a manly one. And then for the 19-year-old, I just got the cleansing face wash. Um, and then for my husband, I just got the I Wuff You heart. And then for each one of the dogs, I got a pack of milk bones. My oldest son, his name starts with a C, so I got him the LED C, and it does light up. Um, I'm hoping to find an N for my youngest son. Um, I got my youngest son pencils and lead. I got them each a pack of the cooling face, wa face wipes from the nobleman. Um, I got one of them the texture and bounce shampoo. Uh, we each got a pack of the three piece cotton candy. And then they each one, they each got the shave soap, the Nick Care, and a pocket cologne. Um, I got uh, the cedar wood and the um, bergamot. So one of each of those. <clears throat> and then I got the other kid, the volumizing con conditioner and the vol volumizing shampoo. And these are sulfate-free, paraben-free, dye-free, cruelty-free, vegan, and phthalate-free. Is that how you say that word? So, we'll see. We'll try that. And then, one last thing, you guys. We are at the end. I got this for me to go in mine. Um, I'm going to put it on my keychain because... You know, band-aids. And these are really cute. So, you know, they, they have the different sayings. 
You know what? Let's just go ahead and open this. Oh, it flips up like that. And then you have the, uh, the love, the throwback Thursday, then you have the outfit of the day, and then you have the selfie. Those are cute. Those are really cute. And, and band-aids. I mean, you know, what can you say about band-aids? And that is it for this Dollar Tree haul. Y'all, we made it through. Woohoo! I hope I didn't do a terrible job. Maybe one day I'll get a lot better at doing this. I was making sure I didn't miss anything. Um, I think I will. Let's see about the next video. And speaking of that, on to the Timu Hall video.